Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to check out the, uh, the channel. Um, this is for Pisces, uh, July 4th, 2022. Um, uh, 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 please uh, excuse the surroundings as we're doing some renovating uh, in the home and <clears throat> refinishing the furniture, hence the, uh, the table looking the way that it is. So right now it's really about finding the space that you can to do what you need to do. So. Um, you know, please excuse the, the mess. Um, again, this is for Pisces, uh, July 4th, 2022. Happy 4th of July. I hope everybody's uh, staying safe out there. So these, uh, these readings that you'll see me do in these videos, uh, I pretty much will do them anywhere. You know, I'll do them at home, I'll do them at work, I'll do them at a park. It just doesn't matter. Um, usually I get a sense to want to to want to do the reading and it'll prompt me to just find a place to do it so you'll see me um, uh, providing readings from different different uh, different places so the reading that I uh, primarily use rather the structure that I primarily use is the Celtic cross it is a 10 card draw and what it does is that it shows a certain it shows a situation from an outside perspective okay and and I really enjoy that because um, you know this isn't about me telling you directly what to do or what advice or, or what have you. Really what it's about is giving you the knowledge of a view from an outside perspective and from there you can make your own decision on what to do because we know that tarot is about energy in the moment, right? Energy in the moment. It can change 10 minutes from now, it can change tomorrow, it can change next week. So when you're aware of a situation, you can make either a better decision, make adjustments, and hopefully really that's all I'm trying to do here with um, the tarot readings, okay? So again, um, uh, if, you know, if it resonates, you know, take what, what, what does. If it doesn't, just, you know, leave it for, for everybody else. Um, either way, I hope you enjoy the reading and, um, and get uh, the most that you can out of it, okay? Well, here we go. So... You know, again, I apologize for the distance from the cards. I'm trying to work with what I got here, but uh, you know, first we see the Significator card under the Magician, which is the, the the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Now, this okay, real quick. This reading can indicate you yourself or indicate uh, the 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 other person in the situation. Okay, so you take how it relates to you. Um, the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you're looking at somebody who's impulsive, rashness. Um, just goes into the situation without really any forethought. Now, if we look at the at the deck, we can see that rather we look at the reading, we can see that the the primary um, or the predominant suit are the cups. You know, and the cups are all about emotion and love and self love and and, and fulfillment, right? So, if if this is about self love and we have somebody who's rash. So emotionally, we're talking about somebody who's who's hasty in their emotions and their feelings. You know, they jump into things too quick without thinking about it. Now, the magician. Now, that's the blocking energy. That's somebody who's a manifest or somebody who can who can create with what they with what little they got. You know, they're confident. They're they're master manipulators as well. Um, they tend to usually get what they want. They know what to say. They're very very savvy with their words. And, and you know, with, with a judgment, you know, in the past there's been decisions made, better decisions made than previous ones. There have been you know, better changes made, and 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 you, and then this card just signifies that you know what you you've kind of learned from your your lessons, right? You're making better decisions, You're making better decisions from previous situations. But unfortunately, with the Ten of Cups, you know, we're looking at instability here. We're looking at the inability to to be in touch with ourselves emotionally. In, inability to to feel that self-love you know that self-respect you know some some confusion going on there and and and, and it's brought on is, is brought on within themselves within yourself or themselves you know in the past with the, the king of cups there's a there, there's a loss of of, of um, conviction and a loss of of being able to be you know to stand by your emotions to to stick to your guns to be able to say yes or no you know there's the inability to be able to protect yourself emotionally you know in the future you're looking at the the ten of denarii in reverse or the ten of pentacles and again 
we're looking at a, a loss of, of opportunity, you know. Maybe this is an opportunity to start new, to feel new, uh, love again, to feel better. But we see a loss of this, an inability to reach this this point aspect. You know, the death in reverse, you know, there's a resistance to change. Or there's a resistance to want to do better, um, whether it's um, due to pride or the inability to see clearly. Um, you, you're just holding on, or this individual is holding on, and, and there needs to be um, a release there, you know. And then with, um, look, I've got the Six of Cups, you know, stability, you know, there's, there's this, there's instability, you know, there's, there's too much taking, not enough giving. Um, there's, there's just a sense of disrespect there, and not providing what the other needs, you know. And then with the Ace of uh, Denarii or Pentacles, that's the same thing, you know. You're, and then that's in reverse. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's. This is, this is the hope or fear that you're going to lose out on that, that you're going to miss out on that opportunity to be able to start new. And then the Ace of Cups in reverse, again, that's just a loss of emotional stability, loss of self-love, being depleted. So overall, the reading is saying, hey, if you're the individual, you know, that's in this situation, you need to reconnect, you need to step back and look at the situation for what it really is and understand this individual, that they're just probably manipulating you for what they want. You need to reconnect with self-love. If um, this is uh, you, then you need to stop being the manipulator, you know, you need to stop playing on this individual's emotions, you know, you need to be fair. And if you can't find yourself to be fair, then you need to step away and, and, and let this person be, let this person heal emotionally. All right, guys, so this is for Pisces, uh, July 4th, 2022, and I hope it made sense. Um, not all readings are going to be happy or good, and not all are going to be bad or sad, you know. So again, this is this is the in-the-moment reading, and I hope it's really helped. So here, you have the decision how to change and, and how to get better at it, okay? All right, have a good day, guys.